Lecture 7.3, Day 2, Disk and Washer Methods. The slide is the Limerick Nuclear Generating Station, located near Pottstown, Pennsylvania. And it's significant to me because I worked here as an engineer before I got into the glamorous world of high school math education. Suppose I start with this curve, y equals radical x. My boss at the Acme Rocket Company has assigned me to build a nose cone in this shape. So I put a piece of wood in a lathe and turn it to a shape to match the curve. How could we find the volume of the cone? One way would be to cut it into a series of thin slices or flat cylinders and add their volumes. The volume of each flat cylinder or disc is pi r squared times the thickness. In this case, r equals the y value of the function. So we have pi times radical x squared. The thickness is a small change in x or dx. If we add the volumes, we get the integral from 0 to 4 of pi times radical x squared dx, or the integral from 0 to 4 of pi x dx. Taking the antiderivative, we have pi over 2 x squared evaluated from 0 to 4, or 8 pi. This application of the method of slicing is called the disk method. The shape of the slice is a disk, so we use the formula for the area of a circle to find the volume of the disk. If the shape is rotated about the x-axis, then the formula is v equals pi times the integral of a to b y squared dx. Since we will be using the disk method to rotate shapes about other lines besides the x-axis, we will not have this formula on the formula quizzes. A shape rotated about the y-axis would be v equals pi times the integral from a to b of x squared dy. Here's an example. The region between the curve x equals 1 over radical y, where y is between 1 and 4, and the y-axis is revolved about the y-axis. Find the volume. First we draw a sketch. We pick some y values and calculate x values. If y is 1, x is 1. If y is 2, x is 1 over the square root of 2, or about 0.707. If y is 3, x is 1 over radical 3, or about 577. And if y is 4, x is 1 half. We sketch the shape and then revolve it about the y-axis to get this lampshade shape. We use a horizontal disk. The thickness is dy. The radius is the x value of the function, or 1 over radical y. The volume, then, if we add up all the disks, is the integral from 1 to 4 of pi times 1 over radical y squared dy. So 
Simplifying, we get the integral from 1 to 4 of pi times 1 over y dy. Taking the antiderivative, we have pi ln y evaluated from 1 to 4, or pi times ln 4 minus ln 1. ln 1 is 0. and pi times ln4 becomes pi times ln2 squared. We can bring the exponent out front and we get our simplified answer 2 pi ln2. The natural draft cooling tower shown at left is about 500 feet high and its shape can be approximated by the graph of this equation revolved about the y-axis. x equals 0.000574 y squared minus 0.439 y plus 185. And by the way, this is not the actual equation that we use to construct the tower, but it does give us a good approximation. If we enter our axes, the volume can be calculated using the disk method with a horizontal disk. So this is our integral. We integrate pi times the integral from 0 to 500. Then we have the expression for the radius squared dy. This time we use our calculator and we get 24,700,000 cubic feet. Here's another example. The region bounded by y equals x squared and y equals 2x is revolved about the y-axis. Find the volume. We sketch our region and we get a shape that looks something like the top of a wine glass, hollow in the inside. If we use a horizontal slice, the disc now has a hole in it, making it a washer. The volume of the washer is pi times the outer radius squared minus pi times the inner radius squared times the thickness. So what we're doing is we're starting with the area of the circle, which is pi r squared and we're subtracting the area of the hole, which is pi times little r squared. We can factor out the pi, and the thickness is dy. So we have pi times the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. Now, since the equation was y equals x squared, we can solve for x and get radical y equals x. That would be the outer radius. For the inner radius, we have y equals 2x, and solving for x, we get y over 2 equals x. The volume then becomes the integral from 0 to 4 of pi times the quantity radical y squared minus y over 2 squared dy. Or the integral from 0 to 4 of pi times y minus 1 fourth y squared dy. Factoring out the pi, we get pi times the integral from 0 to 4 of y minus 1 fourth y squared dy. We can take the antiderivatives and plug in our limits of integration to get our volume, which is 8 pi over 3.
This application of the method of slicing is called the washer method. The shape of the slice is a circle with a hole in it, so we subtract the area of the inner circle from the area of the outer circle. The washer method formula is v equals pi times the integral from a to b of big R squared minus little r squared dx. Like the disk method, this formula will not be on the formula quizzes. I want you to understand the formula. If the same region is rotated about the line x equals 3, we get this shape. Once again, this looks something like a lampshade to me. The outer radius r is now 3 minus y over 2. That is 3 minus the x distance to the straight line, which would be right there. The inner radius is 3 minus radical y, or 3 minus the x distance to the curve. Remember, the volume is pi times the integral from big R squared minus little r squared dy. So in this case, we have pi times the integral from 0 to 4 of 3 minus y over 2 quantity squared minus 3 minus radical y quantity squared dy. We square both of the binomials. Eliminate the parentheses, and we can cancel the nines. And we have the simplified little, and we changed our radical to fractional exponents. Now we take the antiderivative and plug in our limits of integration. and we get 16 pi over 3.